Hello, welcome back in my kitchen, in my culinary lab. My name is Umaro Kadagan and I'd like to show you how we can translate our no theoretical knowledge of nutrition and functional medicine into really tasty cooking. So today we're actually going to make a low glycemic, relatively, or that can be a low calorie soft ice with protein. So for it you need some sort of pure protein powder and frozen melon. So here I have some frozen honeydew melon and I have some rice protein powder with vanilla flavor. It could also be a high quality whey protein as long as you're not allergic to milk or if you have to avoid animal products then I'd recommend either rice protein or really high quality pea protein or potato protein. You also need a powerful blend because this is going to be a bit rough. So what we'll do first is we'll take some of our frozen melon pieces. Now in addition to honeydew melon you could also use frozen watermelon or frozen cantaloupe or if you have other melons available where you are, do that. So here we probably have about, yeah, you're going to have to use your fingers a bit as well. Show a bit of your power. So do we have here, we have about two cups or a cup and a half depending on how the pieces fall. Then we'll throw in our protein powder. I like to add an extra bit of vanilla, not a lot, just a little bit. And if your protein powder is unflavored, then you might want to throw in just a bit of stevia extract as well, or some sort of sweetener. Now you can either add water or coconut milk, so if you want the really low calorie one, you'd add a dash of water. If you want the slightly thicker and richer and creamier one, then do a bit of coconut milk. Not a lot, so just start with a little bit into the blender with it and then we'll smash it up. So here it really pays off having a strong industrial blender. industrial blender with a sort of rod to, that you can put in to stir with then you'd have to blend a bit turn it off take a tablespoon blend again but look at this I mean soft ice so let's just have a taste I mean look at it it's just solid like soft ice And it tastes really, really good as well. So you can have this as a high protein dessert if you need to be in a high protein diet. And also because there's so much protein in here, it will be a lot more stabilizing for your blood sugar levels. It's an excellent post-workout snack. If you've worked really hard or really long, you might want to throw in a banana as well to get a few more carbohydrates. If you're not eating a lot and you need to get in lots of nutrients then this is quite an easy way of doing it as well you know for cancer patients as an example and you could add all sorts of other things instead of using coconut milk you could use a bit less coconut milk and then if you have high quality fish oil that you need to take or you need flaxseed oil you could throw a bit of that in there to get some more omega-3 fatty acids in there in fact you could also add a bit of ground dried ginger then you get ginger you could throw in green tea I could also have thrown in some fresh herbs, so a few sprigs of fresh rosemary in here just taste wonderful. Hmm. Or, if you like coffee, then you could actually do a version where you add a few ground coffee, be finely ground coffee beans or sprinkle them up top afterwards. And in case I forgot, 
You could also use watermelons. You can also get one that's not quite as, only quite as light, but will be a bit more pink. And of course, a bit of cocoa powder wouldn't hurt either if you want chocolate flavor. So, when I work out close to home, or if I work out at home, or go running, come back home, this is what I have. Hence, I always make sure I have some frozen cube honeydew melon in my freezer so I can make this anytime. Bon appetit.